Hello and welcome to Linux Leech. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use pipes. So let's get started. Okay, the first step I'm going to take is to open up my terminal and I'm going to show you what a pipe is. So a pipe is this vertical line character here. And what it allows you to do is to take the output of one command and use that as input for another. So as a quick example, if I had, say, let's call it command one. So that's my first command. What I would then do is put in a space and then the pipe character and then command 2. So what's actually going to happen here is whatever command 1 would output to the screen is now going to be fed into command 2 as input. So the best way to show you that is to go ahead and do some examples. So I'm just going to cd over to my desktop and into this Java directory here. And I'm just going to run ls so that we can see the directories that are within that Java directory. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to list these in order of the newest. So to do that, I'm, I can just type in ls dash l so we can get a long listing and t so that we can list them in order of the newest directory or the directory that has had the newest change. So now if I hit enter you can see that they've been listed in order of the newest. But let's just say I had 30 or 40 directories here and I only wanted to see the top 10. What I could do is if I just clear the screen, I could use the same command, so ls space dash lt, and then I could use the pipe character. And a command that we know of that lists the top 10 lines within any kind of document is head. So if I pipe the output that we had before into head, it's going to give me only the first 10 lines. So if I hit enter now, you can see that it's a lot shorter. And we actually have nine directory listings because this line here counts as one of the 10 that we're going to list. So if I actually wanted to list 10, I could either leave out the dash L, so I could type in ls dash T and then pipe that into head. And as you can see, we've got an extra directory at the end. And if you count all of these, there are 10 there. Or I could modify the head command and I could use the dash N parameter. So I could type in ls dash LT to get a long listing and in order of the newest first and then pipe that into head and use the dash n option and I type 11 so that we're going to include this line here as well as 10 directories so if I hit enter now you can see that we have now got 10 directories listed in order of the newest first so newest directory second newest directory and so on and so forth so that's quite useful if you only want to see the top half of any kind of information that you would list. And there's another really useful thing to do with pipes, and that is, if I just clear the screen, if we use a command like history, you can see that there's a lot of listings there. And if I scroll up, we're not actually getting the full picture of what's going on. So what we could do is we could type in the history command and we could pipe that into a command that we've used before which is less and if we hit enter now you can see that we're actually able to view all of the information that would have been displayed by history but in a much easier to read kind of fashion so whenever you get commands that are going to give you a lot of output Sometimes it is a good idea to actually just pipe that command's output into less. It just makes things easier for you to read, basically. So I'm just going to type Q to quit out of less. Let's move on to something else. So I'm just going to clear the screen again. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the find command. And I'm going to tell it that we're looking in the current directory. So I'm going to use a single dot. And then what we're looking for, so dash type, 
and I'm going to use an F. So we're looking for files, and we want to print those to the screen. So dash print, and let's hit enter to see what that gives us. So as you can see, we've got this long listing of all of the files within the Java directory and its subdirectories. Now let's just say that we wanted to know how many files were there. We could actually count each individual line because each of these lines is equivalent to one file. So we could do that manually, which could take forever depending on how many listings there were. Or we could actually just pipe this command that we used, so this find command, we could pipe it into something that will allow us to count the lines that are being output. So if we just use the pipe command, we can use the wc command for word count, but with the dash l option for lines. So now if I hit enter, you can see that we've got 188 files. So as you can see, we've actually combined two separate commands to give us an output that is something that we were looking for. Now with pipes, you're not just limited to two commands, you can actually pipe multiple commands together. So if I use the same command again, so we're going to use this listing again, but this time we're going to pipe that into the head command, and we're then going to pipe that into the wc command with the dash l option. So what's actually going to happen is we're going to print this long listing, it's going to go into the head command, which will give us an output of the first 10, and wc is going to count the number of lines, so we should be left with a number which is 10. So if we hit enter now, there we go, we've been left with the number 10. So as you can see here, we've actually used three commands, so we've used the find command here, and then we've piped that output into head, and then pipe heads output into WC. So you can basically pipe as many commands together as you want to get the desired output that you're looking for. Now when you're using pipes you can also use redirection. So if we just run the same command again, but this time we want to redirect our output into a file, we can just use our redirect symbol here and then let's type in the name of the file. So let's use desktop, just need a forward slash there. So my desktop and then forward slash, let's call it test.text and hit enter. And as you can see, that file has been created on our desktop. And if we just open it, it's got the number 10 in it, which is what our output was here. So there you go, that's how to use pipes. And in my opinion, pipes are probably the most useful and most powerful tool that you have when it comes down to IO redirection. And as you can see, you can just pipe pretty much any commands together to achieve your desired output. So that's brought us to the end of that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow Linux Leech on facebook.com forward slash Linux Leech and on Twitter at Linux Leech. And thanks again for watching. Goodbye.